the Samsung Portable SSD T7. So just as a disclaimer, this whole video was filmed on an iPhone XS Max, actually edited on a Samsung T7 in Final Cut Pro using iCloud management. This is the Samsung Portable SSD T7 with 500 gigabytes and you can use it on Windows, Mac and Android. This is the red version and it comes in blue, gray and red. Some of the size dimensions. It comes with a three year limited warranty and in the box it includes a portable SSD T7, a USB 3.2 USB-C to USB-A for backwards compatibility and a USB-C to C cable. So two cables. So let's unbox it. There's a sticker right here. Let's pop it. Samsung printed on the front. Let's pop this. There it is. So shiny. Nice presentation. Let's pop this out. Set this aside. To the little cover. And it comes in a little cute box. Both cables. Pop it open. Keep this for a warranty. Lose the first cable. This is USB-C to C. And a USB-A to C. This is everything in the box. And we'll go ahead and review this puppy. And first-hand experience. It's actually very small. I'm very surprised. Feels cold to the touch. That was the unboxing of the Samsung Portable SSD T7. The T7 portable SSD has a, like a very light metal enclosed body. It's very smooth to the touch and cold to the touch. It has curves all around the sides, flat tops, and an indicator light if it's transferring data. That can actually be blue, red, whatever it's doing. And a USB Type-C port. Curvy is always a better thing. They really knocked this one out of the park. Man, this thing is small. You can fit it in any tiny pocket, small pocket, any girl's pockets, like it can fit anywhere. And it's small enough to actually be used on a Blackmagic setup as well. So you can have this plugged in and you can run your camera and everything else and a little screen and this will transfer data and record efficiently without any issues as whatsoever. Caught it with my legs. And it has drop resistance of two meters. So it would be okay if it actually landed on the ground. And you can use this on Windows, Mac, and Android. You might be able to use it on other operating systems, but I think it's really optimized that so that you can actually plug it into the Mac and the PC back and forth. And I've been using these two cords, so one of my monitors has a Type-C as I plug in a USB to have more USBs and it has one extra Type-C so I use this to transfer it from PC and I use my USB-A to Type-C or vice versa. So I can use it on any type of MacBook or Windows PC. I have the 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch and it includes all the ports you ever want but only USB-A and no Type-C as in the new MacBooks have that. For backwards compatibility, it really makes sense. Some of the features on this drive. So it has a Type-C connection, and this is really future-proofed. They started putting Type-C on 
the 2016 MacBook Pros. And that was one of the first devices to have it. And I think they've also have Type-C on 2015 and 2014 phones. So it's already been about five years or so, and they're using wide adoption on this port, and it will be the port on everything. And I mean, when, when, I, when I say everything, I don't mean the iPhone, because I think they'll just take away the port at that point. If they have to put in a Type-C port, now they are already up onto Thunderbolt 4, and that includes Thunderbolt right off the gate, and you can enjoy speeds that are astronomical today. So this one has a USB 3.2 Gen 2 on board, and this came out before Thunderbolt 4, so you can't have those crazy speeds, but you can still get up to one gigabyte a second on this. And this drive also has drop support, two meters, and it also has thermal control. So when it gets hot, it has a way of dissipating heat, and that is really nice when you start to really edit on this thing. You can kind of see that it would get a bit hot when your Final Cut Pro is rendering every second and using all 500 gigabytes of this drive. But this is really nice to have and to edit in a pinch, you can take out this hard drive or if you only have 128 gigabytes on your MacBook Air, you can also just plug this one in and you can edit it right off of this drive. And it does include these two cables too. That's a pretty sweet value. So this uses an NVMe storage and it has no moving parts, so it's not gonna break. And this T7 has an interface, USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabytes a second, and is backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. And you have speeds of up to 1,050 megabytes a second on this drive, read and write. It also has UASP support, and that basically just means that it performs up to 70% faster read speeds and 40% faster write speeds at peak performance. This also has built-in AES 256-bit hardware encryption, so you can make sure all your files are secure on this drive. It also includes a limited three-year warranty, so if anything happens to this drive, you can take it back and they'll give you a brand new one. You gotta keep the box though. So for usability, it's pretty plug and play. You just plug it in and it recognizes the device right away. You don't have to tell Mac or Windows what it is or format it. You just plug it in and it works like a charm every time. I'm using an older Alienware MacBook for 2014 and they only ship with USB 3.0 so they don't have 3.2 Gen 2 speeds or anything and I'm getting about 300 megabytes a second on older hardware which is still very impressive and we're moving files around. 300 megabytes can get the job done. On newer devices you can expect up to about a gigabyte a second, which is really impressive. And I did just kind of try plugging it into my iPhone through the Type-C to Lightning, and nothing really happened. This is only on Android, and you can plug it in, and you can start transferring your photos or anything else, because that one's more of an open source platform, and they allow for such devices. And I don't think the iPhone can actually power this device. It requires a bit more power. And you can also use it on game consoles if you want a little bit more extra space. You can plug this one in and download more games on this little drive. And it's so tiny, you can fit anywhere. You can fit within the sandwich wedges of a PS4 Pro, or even right beside a PS5, through so Type-C to Type-C, or even USB, whatever you want. And for software, they do include a, a Samsung portable SSD software 1.0. I don't think they've ever actually updated that thing and I think it's still on 1.0 so the final release. I did plug it in and I updated it but it took a couple tries to get it right and I unplugged it, plugged it back in, plug and play and I always right click and eject and such so plugging it in it finally did update. If Samsung finds any issues with this drive or it wants to improve speeds they can update this drive. And you can also use that same software to put on a passcode. I didn't myself put a passcode on, but it's super simple. You just type it in and you can set a passcode. So every time you try to plug in your device, you have to type in a passcode if you don't want anyone to see what's on this drive. So for my thoughts, I've been using this drive for a couple of weeks now, and I've been very pleasantly surprised. I've been able to plug it into all my computers and I can safely say that this is a very, very nice drive and the speeds are very welcome in this day and age. If you want an extra 500 gigabyte hard drive, 
laying around so you can transfer your files around. This one's amazing. I have a big tanky one over there. And man, this is like maybe 2% of the size of that. They've shrunk these all these tiny internals and into this tiny little thing. And it has drop performance, it has thermal management and everything else. And if you have a video camera, you can plug this one in instead of SD cards. You don't have to burn through those as they kind of get hot. And this one can really protect your data. When I'm working on YouTube videos, I can transfer files around and really efficiently so I can be a little more organized and whatever project I'm working on, I can just work off of this or my MacBook or wherever. But it makes sense when you're running in a space and you really need to finish your project. You can really count on Samsung to get that work done. And these bad boys retail for about a hundred bucks right now. They're on sale. And I think the normal price is about 130 Canadian. Yeah, a hundred bucks, 500 gigabyte drive and it's type C and it has indicator light and everything. And it's Samsung. What more can you ask? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.